hello what i want to talk about today is how to identify a true friend a friend is significant to our lives so we need to classify our friends into two categories an ordinary friend and a true friend why because a friend can make or mar you true friends are the ones that you hold close to your heart they are the ones you run to when you're in trouble they're the ones you run to when you need good counsel and good counsel is good counsel can make or mar you as well so that is why it's important that we know who our true friends are and how do we know who our true friends are we need to put them to test when you have a when you come up when you have a new friend you need to test that friend okay let me also start by giving a brief definition of a true friend a true friend is somebody that likes you that encourages you that is honest to you that tells you that corrects you and still loves you a true friend is somebody that likes to have you around a true friend is somebody you feel at home with when he or she is around or when you speak to the person you feel better you know because in a nutshell a true friend is somebody that that their impact in your life is positive always so that you don't run to the wrong friend in time of danger right good so number one way to test a friend true friend is just call up this friend and say hello friend did you know that the other day we met I you you did something that hurt me I was really upset I just need to tell you and if the friend replies and says what I don't see anything I did that was wrong I mean, the friend keeps mute. That is not a good friend. But if the friend says, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I hurt you, but it's good as you told me. You know, I'm sorry. I love you. You're my friend, my darling friend. Anyway, yeah, it's over, right? Thank you. Okay, that's one test. Then the second test. Make a call to this friend again and say, friend, I'm ill. I need to see the doctor. I don't know. There's nobody else in the house with me. I don't know who to call. That's why I called you. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. My health. I don't even. There's nobody to take me to the doctor. I could hardly walk. And, she, and you drop the phone. And if the friend calls you back immediately, or a few minutes later, and thinking, you know, and says, oh, okay, just be calm. I will come over and help you. And the friend like dashes down because the friend is nearby and helps you out. But let's say the friend is far away and still calls you and say, look, just be calm. I'll send somebody over to come and help you out. Because right now I'm at a very far away place. I cannot get to you on time. So I'll send somebody down. I'll call someone now. They'll come to your help. Just be calm. All will be well. That's a good friend. But if if the friend just I mean calls you back and say okay right now where I am I cannot reach your place I just hope I just hope you find somebody that will help you because I I'll have to see you later that's not a true friend that's just an ordinary friend yeah good okay then the third one you make a call to this friend again and say look friend I am really broke. In the past few days, I've been really broke. I feel like committing suicide. I'm fed up with life. I, I, don't, I don't see the reason why I'm living. I'm sure everything has just turned down upon me. I don't know. You may come and not meet me again. <laughs> anyway. And you drop the phone. And the friend calls you back immediately and say, you better not try anything stupid. I am coming over to you right now. I'm coming and bringing some stuff. Don't worry, you'll be okay. I'll be there for you. If I didn't get to you on time, I'll send somebody to get there before I get there. So just be calm. I love you. Don't do anything stupid, right? You're precious to me. Don't commit. Don't even think of committing suicide. I'll see you soon. Just be calm. Calm down. Just pray, 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 pray. Yeah. I'll be there with you soon. That's a good friend. That's a loving friend. Yeah. But a friend that says, "Okay, you know, you don't need to commit suicide. It's not that bad. What's, what's wrong with you? Why? You, I mean, I mean, be be, be, be strong. You, you, you're not a baby." You know, baby, what do you mean by committing suicide? Anyway, I'll see you later. I'll see you later in the day. I'm busy quite right now. That's not a true friend. Good. 
So those are the three ways you can try to find out. And anytime you have a new friend coming to your life, test them out. You never know when the best of the best friend can come into your life. Don't say because one friend or many have disappointed you, you will not allow others to um, come into your life. No. People are different. People have different, different orientation, different knowledge, different experiences, different, different levels of maturity. So be, always be of, open to any new friend that comes your way. But all you need to do is just test them. Give them a big test. Within the week, just test them so that you're sure which kind of friend that person is. So as to know where to put the friend, where to classify the friends. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little talk. Thank you for listening. Send me your comments. I want to share your experiences with you. I want to learn from you. We've got to learn from each other. It's good. Anyway, subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you. Love you. Bye.